But right now, we got some things to get together. We got some things to get right. And we got some things to fix. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Latarsha. And on my channel, I make videos for women who want to grow in their body, mind, and spirit. And today, ladies, I am going to give you three reasons why you may not want to relocate right now. Why you may want to stay put. And I decided to do this video because a lot of ladies, the single mothers especially, um, they write me and they ask me like, hey, I'm scared. I really want to move, but I am scared and I don't know the next step to take. So I try to encourage each and every one of them. However, I I don't give, you know, the information that I shouldn't be giving if that's if that makes sense. So number one, you don't like people. Now, this may be a shocker to many of you, but we need people. Bottom line, we need each other. Now, you should always show love, respect, and honor to everyone you meet. We've all heard the golden rule that tells us that we should do unto others as we would have them do unto us. Now, every day, it's always someone that says, I really don't like people. Or, you know, they have something negative to say about people right i know you you've seen it if you're scrolling on your social media and you see someone that's always has something negative to say about people now i understand everybody is not a people person it's okay however god tell us to love people to love people as we love ourselves so that is something that we really have to get right ladies um if you dislike people in your current city, then moving to a new city alone is really, you know, it's going to be lonely, it's going to be depressing, and it's going to be hard because we need people. So you're going to have to go out and meet new people. If you're in a mindset where you, you tell yourself that you don't like people, then making new friends is going to be hard. So we got to fix this mindset, sis, before you decide to move to a new city alone, no family, no friends, or anything. We have to fix this mindset. All people are not bad. Some people have a purpose here on this earth to help you get to where you need to go. So if you don't, you know, change that mindset to change your heart towards people, then you'll never get to where you need to go. My second reason is you have financial struggles so a lot of single moms say they want to move to create a better life for their children and i applaud that because that's what i did however if you're wanting to relocate to an entirely new state to fix your money problems then it's probably going to be a disaster because the majority of the time now i'm not by any means saying that everybody have you know issues managing their finances because that's not the case some people you know they they just have you know situations right now but for the majority of people they have issues managing their finances they have issues managing the finances that they currently have you know they try to live above their means and they try to live like their neighbors to please people who don't care now if that is you and you have this mindset and you may not know you know you may not know that you have this mindset that was me like i didn't know that i was living to please other people i didn't know that i was going to depth to please everybody around me who did not care and most people didn't even notice i didn't know that I had to sit down and I had to take an aware, uh, I had to sit down and become self-aware of my situation in order to change it. So, um, again, money problems, it's a mindset. And making more money, ladies, it will not solve an issue within. So, I would definitely encourage you to learn how to save to budget and to live below your means before you relocate because even if you relocate and you find a better paying job then 
you're still not going to live below your means. You're still going to live above your means, causing the same financial struggles that you ran from. So, so yes, I would definitely encourage you ladies to, you know, become financial literate and learn how to manage your finances better before you decide to move to another state alone. So, my third and final point, ladies, is you may not want to relocate right now if you don't have a long-term plan. Now, um... You can't put old wine into new wine skins. So you have to come up with a plan. You have to come up with a new plan that's different from what you're doing in your current state. Especially if you're moving to, um, you know, to better your life, to better your circumstances, then you have to come up with a new plan. What are you going to do different? If you're in your current state and you're working... 13 to 14 hours a day and you move to your new state and You have a plan to do the same thing. Oh, I'm just going to find me a job and I'm just going to work, you know Graveyard shifts that's really taking me to my grave literally then that's not it You're going to find yourself stuck in that place. You have to create a plan. What do you want to do? Do you want to go back to school? Do you want to start a business in that new state because you've you've researched that state and you've heard that it is a business friendly city? Um what do you want to do? Um, do you want to get out and network with people? Because you heard that most people in that city, they are, you know, entrepreneurs or they are professionals and you would like, you know, a mentor from them. What is your plan to get to the next level in that new city? You have to have a plan or you'll get to that new city and you'll be stuck and you'll be depressed you'll be going in a cycle you'll be going in a continuous cycle you'll be stuck so it's it's definitely best to develop a plan what where do you want to see yourself in a year two years three years five years what do you want from your kid for your kids in this new state so this video is really geared towards single mothers who's wanted to relocate to a new state alone no family no friends or anything they're just starting over this video isn't to discourage anyone nothing is going to be perfect nothing is ever going to be perfect so if you're waiting for the perfect time that perfect time is never going to come but you have to make sure you change your mind before relocating because you can't put old wine into new wine skin so you can't take the same thing and the same baggage and the same mindset over to a new state and expect to have better it's just not gonna work so that's why i made this video ladies to you know help you kind of look within um before you take that leap and leave um not to not to discourage you in any type of way so ladies, um, if you want to hear more from me, um, I make blogs on self-love, um, anything that, that has to do with growing in body, mind, and spirit. So if you're looking to grow in those three areas, lady, then I have a blog, www.herprosperitymind.com. Head over and read some content, comment, and let me know and get some encouragement for your soul, ladies. So I hope this video helped you. Um, if you need, you know, to work on any of this, it's not the end of the world. Just, you know, we have to get to work. You know, in order to change our circumstances, we have to change our mind. So, you ladies have a great day, and I will talk to you in my next video.